Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge Telegram group. I invite any questions, any doubts, any feedback, input, anything. Shivam's question is, I am facing problem with memory. I cannot sometimes recall what I have learnt in previous chapters. So one good thing about the program is you don't need to actually memorize anything because uh, we always say that your experience will give you knowledge and so everything that is said in the program is based on your own experience the basis is experience so you all you need to do is look at your experience and you will probably recall what was said in the program and my suggestion is that while you are listening try to relate whatever is given in the program whatever is said in the program with your current experience and uh, then the links will be formed in the memory. Like I say, there is an experiencer. Now, actually, you don't need to memorize this thing. You need to see, is there an experiencer? And the answer is yes, it is here, right here, right now. It is formless, I say. Is there a form? You look at your experience and no, no form. So on. The Let us say, if you are in the later chapters about the illusion, then we say, all experience is changing. Now you all you need to do is take a look. Is it changing or not? And yes. So actually the whole content is based on direct experience and very logical thinking, logical conclusions about it. So nothing needs to be stored in memory. Now what needs to be stored in memory? There must be something at least. And that, that is definition. Definition of the words. What is the meaning of this word? What is the meaning of that word? My suggestion is to write down the keywords in separately, not in the notes, separately on a paper or something. Hang it on your desktop somewhere on the wall and with time you will become familiar with all these words. And then the words, they trigger the memory. So no need to worry if you cannot remember because the content is so much that it is not possible to remember everything. Our uh, goal is not to make you memorize. It is not uh, that kind of education which you get in school and colleges. No. Our goal is to make you realize, not memorize. Do not even attempt to memorize it. It's not possible. Once you understand it, that it is my own experience. Once you learn to derive your own conclusions, you can copy me how I am deriving the conclusions out of experiences, how I am precisely defining everything before we start talking about something, before we use a word, we define it properly, so on. So the student should copy the teacher. And once you get into this kind of habit of speaking from experience, speaking from logical conclusions, then you will see you don't need a memory. You don't need to memorize it. That is one of the suggestions. Uh, you are already writing. Now you should uh, be able to understand the importance of writing. Why we are forcing people to write there in a specific way. That this is a topic, write below it. Now another topic, write below it. And don't write only one or two lines. Write that which you understood in your own words. Of course, do not change the terminology. Keep the terminology so that I understand what you are talking about and write it just two or three lines this writing already solidifies some of the knowledge if you do it if you take your time slowly and not hurrying through it in a relaxed way then you will see that yes you will pick it up very quickly that is the purpose of writing there simply listening will yes it will everything will be raised tomorrow and the third suggestion is that you listen to the video first without writing, without even trying to understand, you listen to it. It must be only 20 minutes or 25 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. And then once again you listen to it, this time you take down, down the main points. The main points are exactly that which are shown in the slides. That's all. They are the main points. And then you just make it into a sentence. The main points should be then said in your own language, which means your own understanding should be written there. Yes, this is the ideal way to go through the program and emphasize the definitions and conclusions. 
if you can remember the definition and the conclusions then the middle things will be recalled easily and not only recalled you will see that yes it is actually my own experience like this yes there will be some things which will be beyond your experience there are few things one or two things will be there like this it is totally unimportant it's not really important to remember all these things then some people will think that uh, if i don't remember if i don't memorize these, these things how will i pass the exam and there is another thing here that you cannot pass the exam simply by memorizing it's not possible there will be one or two questions in the exams that will be based on memory but most of the questions they test your understanding not memorizing skills we don't want you to become a hard disk you we want you to become a knowledgeable person to whom no question is difficult so yes nothing to worry if you can't recall it's not important try to experience these things in your daily life there is nothing is given in the program which is not already here like we say the truth is that which is always present so yes it will be always present as your own experience now all you we need to do is learn the art of logically concluding from our experience instead of simply staring at our experience we try to understand what is happening if not we simply put a question mark on whatever we believed in the past this is like a training to discover it is a discovery it is not our school education and that is why we have a verification step also after the step number 2 there is step number 3 which is yes, uh, your verification and uh, exam so we don't say that okay you learn you heard the videos you wrote down your notes now i am going to test i am going to take your exam no 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 we give you one month to verify what you heard if you could not do it in these two or three months when you are writing or listening the listening phase is mostly for listening we don't take that much trouble to verify everything because listening itself is a big work it's a big job but then once the whole 30 chapters are done you get some time re- relaxation time where everything is now cooked all the ingredients are there all the analysis has happened all the terminology is present now you don't need to listen to the videos again because you have your notes now hopefully you, you wrote it very clearly and now you can sit down and check if everything is right or not if there are any errors in the video what is the guru saying is he simply cooking up a story or is he simply quoting some scripture here and there you need to get to test you see before i test you you need to test the program itself and that gives you enough time to imbibe the teachings to absorb the teachings if you want more time you take more time no even one month is a lot but probably some people are busy in their jobs and families and so on so i give them enough time and then there is a test and the test is not asking you to repeat this and repeat that the test is basically checking your understanding did you get the knowledge or not and that also we emphasize the essential knowledge are you still the body <laughs> this will be the question something like this it won't the question won't say that please uh, give me the list of all the layers of the memory and all precise definitions no no that is memorizing if you ask something like this why are there layers and so obviously if you understood you will be able to answer the answers can be one line sometimes one word answer will be there when did experience begin now you don't need to recall what the whole video there you can simply say one word it did not begin timeless that's all and it will be 100% marks will be given to you so you see hardly anything to recall so anyhow i gave you a very detailed reply because this will be go the going in recording and those who could not attend today they will be also be benefited so very good question okay. shivam is asking how to increase my attention span like even now i was thinking about the other questions while listening to you yes that is a major problem isn't it that is a bigger problem than memory so you can relate both uh there is poor memory probably because the attention span is not good enough 
that can be one cause so these two things are related actually if you don't pay attention you will find that it's difficult to recall both these abilities are related i've said this you know before also and in one of my blog articles also that attention is the most important quality for any student not only our path of knowledge this is absolutely required for any student of any subject and in our day to day lives also we need to pay attention whether it is driving or talking or doing something cooking and why is the attention not proper are we born with a small attention span and no there is no such rule so attention is directly related to interest i'll simply jump to the point the more interested you are in anything the more attention you will pay it cannot be forced that is the first thing you cannot force somebody to attend and if you force somebody to attend like they do in schools fear of punishment or i'll fail the exam and because of fear the child wants to attend but and that is not a very good training there is another way to make the subject interesting to make it so interesting that your attention cannot go away for example if you are watching a movie which is your favorite movie for 2 hours or 2 and 1/2 hours you don't move from your place especially in cinema halls and if your whole attention is on the movie every scene you watch every dialogue you listen suppose you are interested in that movie if it is a boring movie no you won't listen to it you won't see it why is that because it is the most interesting thing suppose you are watching match on tv cricket match football match whatever now i have seen that people sit there for whole day watching that match how is that possible why is that attention span so big and the answer is interest it is very interesting for them so if the topic is very interesting for you then your attention will become longer better sharper if it is boring yes if these things are useless then you won't be able to attend to it but some people will say no no the path of knowledge is very interesting for me i just want to do it this only nothing else i am interested but still i cannot focus so there is another reason now and the other reason is distraction distraction is opposite of attention there are there is so much to do in average person's life that they don't pay attention to one job correctly they don't have that much time it's always running 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 distraction so while you are taking notes while you are listening you will get five messages two emails one phone call and somebody will cause some kind of noise around you <laughs> somebody will turn on the tv and so on that is one thing you know we can always blame something else outside us for uh, stealing our attention but there is something else which is which is major which is deeper than these external causes distractions that is our own mind the mind is not peaceful there is lack of peace there probably there is some worry i need to go to office i'll get late and then obviously you won't be able to pay attention to the program or anything else at all or there are uh, events that are happening in your life somebody scolded you somebody insulted you in the morning now in the evening you are trying to write and all these memories are coming and your mind is reacting it is setting up a fight in your mind i am giving you some extreme example but this everyday struggle of our life is so much that you we cannot sit peacefully that is the deeper cause of loss of attention span i can go on like this but i'll give you some causes in brief now it is it will be your job to find out what is the problem in my life it will be different for different people it is very very uh, subjective personal thing lack of peace in everyday life is another cause lack of attention another is another major cause is desires unfulfilled desires you want to do something really badly you want something really badly you want an experience totally today these are desires and worry is a negative desire that i don't want this this should not happen that should not happen that is the negative desire the positive desire is i want this what if this happens now why i am doing this when i could be having some fun somewhere party or 
something so unfulfilled desires we don't know how powerful they are we underestimate them because they will cause micro thoughts you are sitting peacefully yes i need to finish the lesson today there will be micro thoughts in your mind and without awareness because right now you cannot even think about awareness the awareness practice will be given in the step 4 right now we can safely assume that the awareness is zero so these micro thoughts will not be caught by the awareness and they are caught only when they are already manifested they have already stolen your attention they have already distracted you you are already in the fairy tale in a dream world already because of that desire so these are the causes now what is the solution find out what is the cause of your distraction and then there are training methods to train your attention span like sit down at one place and look at only one object or feel your breathing close your eyes feel your breathing and hold a very very strong intention that nothing else will happen except this which i am doing you can say that is one kind of meditation that is a forced meditation it is not giving you any pleasure at this time it is not causing the bliss in you because these things are far away you have just started on the path so that is a discipline that is a uh, method to discipline the mind it is not a real meditation but yes people try all these things they do these things uh, but uh, you can also try to train the mind to focus on one thing it can be anything at all and uh, yes the first thing is it should be extremely interesting then you don't need any training then the distractions will not cause any problem then the desires they will be sent in the queue like you come later i am busy in something very interesting spirituality must be your strongest desire then you will not face this problem of attention spans you can sit there for 2 hours doing nothing but listening to your favorite teachers or reading your favorite books on spirituality i know i was like this now it is i don't get time you see i get distracted a lot when when i was preparing myself i was doing these things it became the highest in my life this became the life goal then obviously nothing else can take your attention second reduce your distractions get a room for yourself if you live in a big family close the room tell people that i am studying don't disturb me for one hour throw away the tv and all that you know you will need the internet because yes this is internet based but uh, you can say that i'll check my messages and emails later keep your calls on silent you need to keep the calls on silent you cannot turn off because probably you are using the phone only to do the program also so and, and there can be some urgency somewhere sometimes emergency so we keep it on but minimize the distraction reduce the friends and unnecessary things which you do reduce the clutter in the life take a simple job which does not require you to travel here and there or does not require you to sit in the office for 12 hours you know the boss keeps calling after office also so we don't want these kind of jobs minimize everything and give importance to that which really matters for you so that's why i said this spiritual uh, seeking Uh, practices should become your life goal and then you will never complain about uh, attention and memory and these things they come automatically they will come naturally and then uh, reduce conflicts in your life talk very less to people do not engage with people so much because they are the major re- major reason for uh, disturbing your mind people so only the very important only the people who are very loving and kind not the noisy kind of people you see violent people don't engage with them that you will see instantly you will get peace of mind there and this this attention will increase unfulfilled desires you see fulfill some of them whatever you can you fulfill so that they don't trouble you every day worries take care of worries and then come yes these very easy to say all these things but they should go parallelly with your seeking i am not saying that you stop your program first clean up your life then come Now, some gurus will say like this they are very very strict in this matter but i know today's life is modern life not the, these extreme things are not possible that like leave everything and then come to my ashram no no no, no. 
that is not our goal our goal is to provide you the essential knowledge right where you are so we simply recommend the minimum that unnecessary trouble you reduce in your life take interest in spirituality hopefully the content is interesting enough but sometimes people say the path of knowledge is a little bit dry and boring so <laughs> what happened is earlier i had so much content with all the examples and metaphors and interesting things but uh, it was about 40 lessons very very long lessons so the complaint was it is too much so we reduced it now it is bare bones and the bare bones they will sound like um, dry um, so i cannot help it there are no interesting stories and songs in the lectures so we make up for that in our online meetings you must have seen the other satsangs mostly endless discussion about gods and goddesses and powers and they <laughs> so that uh, is a compensation for your program interesting things are in the satsang or in the meetings but uh, only to the point content in the program so just accept that it is going to be dry there won't be any humor there won't be any interesting stuff there. if you find knowledge itself interesting then it is a treasure of knowledge every sentence is like a gem nothing unimportant is said in that program whole program so again the, you know it boils down to how much interest you have like these scientists and these people engineers they go through these very very dry papers scientific papers that are published even the drawings are boring in that it is totally complicated scientific mumbo jumbo you can say it's not mumbo jumbo it is very detailed and uh, yes why do they read it and how can somebody write that thing because it is the most interesting thing for them the engineers go through very fat manuals very big manuals i remember with uh, when i was in a technical job we used to get an equipment and with the equipment there was a almira sized um, cabinet full of only manuals and we had to read all them all of them not all of them probably many of them just to operate that instrument equipment nowadays it's all soft copies so but it the count quantity is same so how is that possible how can you read hundreds of manuals technical manuals interest if you are not interested you won't be able to do it it demands attention and then everything depends on your lifestyle if it is aligned to this your spiritual goal yes these things won't trouble you so again i gave you a very long answer for the benefit of everybody who's listening so i think here today we'll end today's discussion and we'll try to hold these meetings every week initially there will be a little bit of timing changes or day will change but finally i hope we'll settle down on a specific time specific day so thank you for attending today's meeting and i'll post the recording and soon there will be another meeting continue in the program all the best